Let's discuss why AAA is not a rule to prove congruency. Two students were asked to draw two triangles with angles 50 degree, 60 degree and 70 degrees. This is the triangle drawn by student 1 and this is the triangle drawn by student 2. When two triangles are drawn by two students with same angle measures, we can see that one triangle is smaller and the other is larger. This happened because base of this triangle taken by the student was less as compared to the base of this triangle taken by the student. When the lengths of bases are different, and we can see here that length of base of triangle 1 is somewhere around 3.8 and length of base of triangle 2 is 5 cm. Surely the triangles cannot be congruent as we can see their sizes are different and they will not overlap each other exactly. And what shall we do here so that the two triangles become congruent? To make these triangles congruent, both students should use the same length of base. So here we can see in triangle 1, length of base is 5 cm and in triangle 2 also, length of the base is 5 cm. Now in these two triangles, this side is equal to this side. This angle is 60 degrees and this angle is also 60 degrees. And this angle is 70 degrees and this angle is also 70 degrees. So 60 degree and 70 degrees become the two angles and this side and this side becomes the included side between the angles. Now by ASA rule of congruency, we can say that the two triangles are congruent. Let's summarize what we have learned here. It is possible to construct non-congruent triangles both having the same measure of angles. Therefore, angle 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 or AAA is not enough data to produce congruent triangles. This implies AAA cannot be used as rule for congruency.